Welcome back guys. It's Sean with the Brothers Workshop and I'm glad you're here hanging out with us today because I have another project with the 66. In the last video, if you guys remember, we talked about doing a little bit of brake work and we never got to it. Well, that's what we're going to do today. The brakes are super soft and I'm not really sure what's going on, but I'm crossing my fingers that all it needs is some fluid. It has a single master cylinder and I know everybody keeps telling me to upgrade to a dual, but we're going to go ahead and leave it alone for now. We're just going to top it off real quick, and if that's not the case, if that doesn't work, then I'll take a look at the drums, and if they need to be replaced, replace them. If they need adjusted, we'll adjust them. I'm just crossing my fingers that this is going to be an easy fix, and we're going to dive right into it here. But before we do, if you like this kind of stuff, and you want to see more of it, there's going to be a lot coming out. So go ahead and subscribe to our channel, that way you stay up to date. And if you liked the video, if you found value in it, hit that like button for us. That way I know you like to see this smiling face. Don't forget to hit us up at The Brothers Workshop so you can hang out with us outside of YouTube. Okay guys, before we work, safety is very important. So we're gonna go ahead and chalk our tires. Now that the tires are chalked, we're gonna come on into the cab, take a look at the brakes. And as you guys can see, there's no pressure and they go right to the floor. Taking a look at the engine bay here, if you guys don't know where the master cylinder is located, it is located above the steering column on the driver's side firewall. This is on the 66 with an inline six. For this project, guys, we ran up to Napa, told them what we had, that 1966 C20, the three quarter ton version of these trucks, and they recommended DOT three and four brake fluid. So I grabbed up the Valvoline brand. That's it guys, it works good.
Okay, at this point we're just going to double check to make sure we don't have to add any more fluid. Seems like that did the trick and it works great. As you can see the level, it really doesn't seem like it moved at all. Looks like it's pretty good. Yeah, there's a lot of rust on this thing. We are going to have to eventually replace the master cylinder. Probably go that route of the duel, but for now, this is going to work great. And for once, something finally went right. It was a super easy fix here. All it needed was a little bit of brake fluid and everything's back to normal. Now that master cylinder is in rough shape. I mean, obviously it's covered in rust. So this winter or whenever I need to, I'll be replacing that. I'm not in any rush right now because it works. Later down the road, I might even upgrade to a dual master cylinder, but at this point in time, Car show season's right around the corner. I could smell summer. I'm so stoked to take this thing out. And I have an even bigger headache right now, and that is unfortunately the bed of the truck is off, and I'm trying to get that back to its original glory with a wood bed. The old farmer put two steel plates in there, and I didn't realize there was two until I cut the large first one out, and then I found another hidden surprise underneath. So, it's quite the headache. And if you guys want to stay up to date with that video, because it's going to be dropping soon, hit that subscribe button so you don't miss it. Don't forget to hit that like button for me, because if you're as stoked as I am that something finally worked on the first go, it's definitely worth a like. And while you're at it, hit us up at The Brothers Workshop on Instagram and Facebook so you stay up to date with everything outside of the wonderful world of YouTube. And until next time, keep building.